Good evening. Welcome to the Paradigm Challenge Prize Ceremony. My name is Kedar and I won first place in the Paradigm Challenge. I decided to develop an app that shows people how to create their own pollinator garden to reduce waste and help the environment. Kedar, can you come up here please? <laughs> Thank you everyone. May I tell you a story? So there was a little boy called Gedan, and that's me. And I really love nature, but especially the pollinators, the bees, the butterflies, and the hummingbirds. One night when I was fast asleep, I had a dream where I shrunk to the size of a bee. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> so I discovered I could fly with them. And so we went and collected some yummy nectar and pollen from the flowers. And I noticed something very exciting, cool, and awesome about them. What they did was they didn't just use it for themselves, but they actually gave it to the other flowers. And that's something called pollination helps us and it also helps the flowers survive. Then I saw a yummy green lawn and I told the bees, hey, why don't we go eat some yummy green lawn? And they said, no way, dude. And I'm like, why? They're like, dude, it's not cool to go there. We need food, water, shelter, and safety. And lawns don't provide any of that to us. All they provide are yucky, nasty chemicals that hurt us. So I said, well, I might be able to solve your problem. And the bee said, how? You're only eight years old, Kedar. And I said, well, us kids can really solve any problems we want. All it takes is some imagination and creativity. And we have that in us. We just need to be given a chance. And the bee said, well, how are you going to do that, Kedar? And I said, you don't worry about that, Mr. Bee. I got that in my shoes. So I woke up the next morning and I worked on my idea, which is an app called Pollinator Pet, which teaches people how to replace lawns with their very own native pollinator garden. And I'd like to ask you one more question. This is not complete and I need your help. Are you just gonna sit back there and keep your lawns which don't really do anything and hurt our pollinators? Or are you going to plant a pollinator garden so that you can actually do something useful and help the environment in our pollinators. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Paige. And we use kindness, creativity, and collaboration to make a difference in the world. And guess what? We won first place in the Paradigm Challenge in a fun trip to LA. We used our creativity to write and illustrate a children's book to help raise awareness about the environment. Katie and Paige, can you come up stage, please? After we um, decided that we wanted to do a picture book for our, our idea, we were thinking about the main character for the book. We wanted to do a superhero, but then we decided against that. We, didn't, we wanted to show kids that you didn't have to be a superhero or have superpowers to make a difference in the world. One of the kids came up to us and said, when, I, when I'm older, I want to be like Sophia. And we said, why? And she said, because I want to save the world. And you know, we told her, you don't have to be an adult to save the world. And that's kind of why we're here. Um, so I think our next steps for Sophia Saves the World is to try and get it published so that kids around the world can have Sophia and, and learn from Sophia. And we want to encourage the Sophia in everyone all around the world. Thank you, guys. My name is Benjamin. I invented a product to replace the plastic shampoo bottles. It's called Nobo. The No Hair Bottle Shampoo Bottle Alternative. Four out of five people do not recycle any bathroom products. The Nobo bottles will eliminate the need to use plastic bottles for shampoo, conditioner, body wash, or shaving cream. 
I'm excited and I'm eager to find out who the winners are. We all come from very diverse backgrounds and we all have incredible products and projects. So um, I'm excited, a little nervous, but excited. Benjamin, come on up. But then I saw my mother using these laundry detergent pods, these Tide pods, and I was like, why can't I use that for sh my shampoo products? I, it would reduce the amount of waste, it would reduce the amount of plastic consumption all around the world. Uh, after doing a little bit of research, I soon came to discover that four out of five people admit they don't consistently recycle any items from their bathroom. Uh, that's roughly equivalent to almost 1,200 football stadiums worth of shampoo bottle waste in the United States alone each year. It was, it was mind-boggling, and I, I knew I needed to do something, so I created Nobo. Replace shampoo with a single-use water-soluble pod. It would reduce the amount of waste, it would reduce the amount of plastic consumption all around the world. And I, my goal for the company is to grow to the point where it completely replaces the need for plastic bottles around the world. I'm eager to start replacing more shampoo bottles and helping the world. Thank you. I shared the challenge with my students and they engaged immediately. Five student leaders formed a team with different skills and interests and they came up with an amazing idea to help our planet. Amazing stuff, right? My students just won first place in the Paradigm Challenge. I'm most excited to see the students get recognized for their work so far, being first place winners. And to be here in the Science Center is amazing so that they can really be recognized on a grand scale. This is a big to-do, and they deserve it. It's so cool to see other people who are doing things just like you from all over the country, and you know, there's submissions from all over the world, so it's just an honor to be here and be with people that are doing similar things and really just get to be a part of it as a whole. I'm still most excited for the spaceship. I'm still not over the space shuttle, but I'll get there. Uh, now I'd like to bring up the, the Wasteless team. Something that Project Paradigm has done it has created a platform for students just like us, people our age and even younger, as you can see from the other submissions, to be able to focus on what's really important, and that is STEM and business and innovation, and about how that's the future to what we need to do in order to solve problems like climate change and like food waste. We've focused on the issue of sustainability and particularly green cities and urban design. So our in-vessel composter minimizes greenhouse gas emissions that would ordinarily be produced from food waste dumped in landfills. Of course a great part of our design was the use of collaboration and creativity that we had within our school community. Um, we had access to many, uh, a, a very diverse background of people um, and a very diverse skill set enabled us to create the project. And we're so grateful for Project Paradigm and the way that they encouraged us to take an idea that we had and turn it into something that could be used in the real world and just take it so far and we never thought we'd have the ability to do that. Just because a kid has some crazy idea doesn't mean that their crazy idea can't help people in the long run. So thank you. Leon, could you please come to stage? Leon would like to present to you your check for $5,000 for the first place prize. Congratulations. The winner of the 2017 Paradigm Challenge Prize is Nobu. Benjamin, come on up. Congratulations, Ben. Terry, can you come up, please? The next step, it's honestly just going to go to producing the next products. Uh, I've been waiting to do this for a while, and now I get the opportunity to do this. To create body washers, create shaving creams, create conditioners. I'm more than ecstatic. It's beyond words. We had a great time in Los Angeles, but there's more to the project than winning. We inspired and collaborated with more than two dozen students to achieve a common goal. We also learned that everyone has the ability and responsibility to make a difference in the world. 